Nasty stories from the animal world. Please welcome our barking blondes, Joe Good, Anna Webb, and Molly and Matilda. Well, you see, Matilda doesn't just like me from your looks. No, she loves you. Yeah, bless her. So, stories today, Joe. So, we think we have found you possibly the smallest dog in Britain. <gasps> this is Tyson. So, shall we say hello to Tyson? Let's say yeah. hello to Tyson. Uh, Tyson is owned by Rosemary, and um, he's. He's a little crossbreed. He weighs a pound. Oh, look! And he... Oh, Let's look at him! <laughs> oh, look at this! Gorgeous. Hello, Tyson. Look at you! So he's a cross between a chihuahua and a Laza, and he's five months, is that right? He's just over five months. Just over five months. How did months. he get to be this small, Rosemary? He just didn't grow. <laughs> I know the feeling, love, when I was little at school, yes. And we're yes. hoping that he'll go in the Guinness Book of Records, but he can't even compete until he's 18 months old. About is that right? Months, yeah. Could he, is he, now this is not rude, I mean, could you breed from him? Is he sort of um, entire? <laughs> I don't know if he's, maybe he's got all his bits yet. But don't write him. <laughs> but the, the rest of the litter, <laughs> the rest of the litter were normal size, yeah, weren't they, Rosemary? Absolutely. So he was rejected by the mum, which is he's shaking. Oh, oh Tyson, yes, we wish he's looking at me out of court of his eyes. <laughs> Tyson, it's lovely to meet you. Rose. Thank Take you. care of him. Let us know if he grows and bring him back. We will do. All right. Oh, Wonderful. Thank you. thank you very much, Tyson and Rosemary. Now, well, Anna. Anna, we've gone from the tiniest dog. Yeah. So now we're going to talk about a talented giant schnauzer that's working on a farm in Russia and he's been trained by his owner to do all manner of things, not just herd sheep. From that picture you can see he's ploughing a field, he's also, he's also been trained to pump water, like handle a pump, and he'll go and he'll fetch logs and bring them back and it's just wonderful that his master's got all this out of him, a trained dog, a happy dog. Amazing. Tyson! Also, you may have noticed behind you, Alan, it is Guide Dog Week, and oh. that is running until the 12th of October. And we are really privileged to have Nathan here, who's suffering from sight loss, and also the wonderful Donna, who trains puppies for guide right, dogs. Well, to celebrate, as Joe says, National Guide Dog Week, we've invited along these two to show with their life-changing dogs exactly what it is that it takes to be a seeing eye dog. Please welcome 17-week-old Angel with her puppy walker Donna Coy and guide dog Hudson with his owner, 20-year-old Nathan Edge. <laughs> welcome to you both. Lovely to see you. Nathan, welcome to you. Nice, nice to see you. you. Hello, Hudson. Now, Donna, first, you, so how old again? She's 17 weeks. 17. Today. And how long will she be with you? About a year. Yeah. With her about and a year. Throughout that time, you have to do what? We have to um, bring her up as any other puppy. We yeah. have to uh, socialise her, which is the most important thing, going out and about to um, shop, shops, cafes, restaurants. Uh, and at which point will you know that, that she is suitable? Um, it's, it's like a constant assessment process. Yes. Really. Our, our supervisor yeah. um, keeps an eye on what she's but doing. But it's often so it's often fashion. yellow labs. They're so good, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, she's a retriever. Cross. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at that. And look at Hudson, <laughs> who's just flopped on the floor <laughs> there, Nathan. Uh, where did you get Hudson? Well, I got him uh, just under a year ago, actually. We're near yeah. our anniversary soon, so hopefully he's going to take me out for a candlelit meal. But the transformation to your life, Nathan, must have been enormous, because you, you've been without sight for how long? It's not been long, actually. I've been visually impaired from s the age of six, but actually yeah. I lost it all completely, so into complete darkness, yeah. uh, just nine months ago. Um, but the, the, the lucky thing for me is that I actually had Hudson from October last year, and he got me through the, the hardest stages in my life, and actually it's now turned out to be the best year of my life because I've got him with me. And um, literally this weekend, we you know, we've come down to London on our own, and who would have thought we'd have been doing something like that nine months later? Goodness so me. He, is, he has been incredible, and I underestimate the difference he would make. He, he's amazing. But we are like a married couple, I'm not going to lie. I love him, but we have our moments. <laughs> what are those moments? When, when, does it, when do you get a bit... Uh, when do you lose it with him? He's, he's, he's absolutely brilliant when he's working, but when he's uh, at home, he's really mischievous. Oh, so yeah. when it's just playtime, he wants to play time too much. Oh, he quite likes bonios as well. He's just seen <laughs> he's his very bon lively. <laughs> so he likes playtime as well. But oh, in a way, I suppose he needs to switch off as well, doesn't yeah. he? He gets a lot of time to switch off, and that's what the great thing is, you know, he loves working, and he'll be upset if I don't take him out to work, to be honest, but then at home it's really nice, and that's why we've got such a good emotional bond together, and that's why when I was going through the most difficult stages of my life where I was having some crazy 
couple of months where I didn't yeah. want to do anything because I'm of, because of losing my sight. Yeah. He was there for me emotional, emotionally. So he, he, at that point, we bonded so much. We became more than best friends. Well, you know, best friends, yeah. and I just love him to bits. But that's the difference a guide dog can make to somebody's life. This must be music to your ears, Donna. This it's is what it's all about, isn't it? Absolutely. We've got six dogs working now. She's our tenth puppy. Yeah. We've got six dogs working, and, and we've seen the difference it makes to people's lives. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's the most wonderfully heartwarming, practical story, the union between mankind and dog. It's a delight to meet you both. My thanks to Angel, to all four of you. Angel, Donna, Hudson, and Nathan. Thank you all very much. We're back with our barking blondes, and I believe Molly and Matilda have been sniffing out all the latest pet gadgets. You love a gadget. I don't love you? a gadget. <laughs> so I love a gadget. I'm working out how I could possibly use it. Yeah. Uh, yes. What's Especially that down one? there? This is a kitty litter tray. And if you're fed up with stale old cat poo, sorry, I have to say that word, um, this is the answer, really, because if you drop the cat poo, or the cat drops the poo, and then uh, 20 minutes later, this rake will push... Should we take the cat out? <laughs> yes, sorry. Like... <laughs> don't to leave your cat in while you do it. <laughs> no, 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 don't go in there, Matilda, because you don't eat. know what you might no, find Matilda. underneath that. She, no, Matilda. <laughs> will push the poo into this oh, container. Oh, it's opening up like a giant yep. waste disposal and unit. And that excrement will stay there for 30 days. Yes. <laughs> no, he doesn't have to stay there for 30 days. <laughs> it just means if you can't... Oh, honestly. <laughs> it's getting worse. A bargain, £141.99. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh gosh. Well, Alan, it's going back now. Molly's absolutely mesmerised. <laughs> what's this? Alan, that giant weapon you're holding there is... Designed, if you're fed up, you know, with not being able to throw your tennis ball very far in the park, Ooh. that will launch it about 75 feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it will just make playing <laughs> fetch that bit better in the park. So it does, right, OK. Let's... Now, nights are drawing in, and we're worried about our dogs being seen yeah. at night. Winter <laughs> draws on. <Yep. laughs> Winter draws on. <laughs> these are the Loichi collars, and our dogs have been wearing these for years. They're so simple. They're LED, they're waterproof. You just pop them around their neck. Like that, one round Mollies. Yeah, yeah. And um, you can be seen walking around in the dark when you let them out in the garden to have a final poop. poop you know where they are. Yeah, and if in your area they're said there's a sighting of a UFO, you know exactly what they're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> well, OK. Uh, you've got... What's that in your hand Well, there? this is a little camera. Now, if you're like us, you're really worried about leaving your dogs even for ten minutes. This is a great idea because it will film your pooch while you're out mm -hmm. and see if it's getting up to any mischief like eating your underwear, chewing the sofa, raising the roof with the barking. So they're watching you, Molly and Matilda. And it's all programmed in through Wi-Fi into your smartphone, so you can monitor everything. And if you want, communicate back to the dog. Wonderful. It's very mm. nice. The dog can watch you, watching you, watching you. Oh. Yeah, very reasonable. Well, now we've also got here something to keep hamsters happy. Now, this is because a real treat. This is, if you think your hamster is just going round and round and there's no purpose to it, now you can do Formula One racing with yeah. your hamster. <laughs> 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 Go on then, Brian, let him go. That's a puppet. Brian! So, <laughs> no, they're not, they're so, real. Am I to let go? And <laughs> yeah, I, let go. I've been told to commentate on this, yeah, so okay. here we go. So, go forward. So, don't no. get it away! <laughs> The dog will eat it. So and it, here they go, and they're there off, and the yellow car is going backwards, and the red car is Isn't going, going there. <laughs> oh, he's going the other way, love. Maybe turn them that way, who knows, who cares. Yes, off you go, back and reverse. this is absolutely riveting, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely sensational. This is television at its best, at its highest degree. It's the red car. All the red car going in the middle. And the yellow car's there. Here's the yellow car. Come on, my son. Come on. Give me a minute. Oh, there it is. Come on, there. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, this one's dead. No, he's still alive. He's going backwards. He's going the other way. He's adding up. If you... Here they are, mate. If you've Who missed any of the details, <laughs> you can find everything on our website, itv.com forward slash Alan. My thanks to Joe and Anna, of course, Molly Matilda and Brian Conley and the Hampshire. <laughs>